How's it going guys? My name is Jake. Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. Today we're out in the wood yard and I'm joined by Elliot from the Everything Elliot YouTube channel. Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Uh, so we're out here in the wood yard. Elliot brought um, his, his Holtzforma Holtz, Holtz, chainsaw. Yep, Holtzforma 372 XP. Okay, so we're going to be playing around with that and I'm going to be showing him the Rugged Made Splitter. Now you have a Rugged Made Splitter, right? Yeah, so I have what I call the baby brother to this. So this is a 37 ton, correct? correct. Um, mine is only a 22 ton, but it is set up the same way. It's just the smaller version. So you have the log lift I and everything. Yeah. It, it literally looks exactly the same, except it's got a little baby cylinder on it. Okay, you well, know. we'll let you play around with the auto cycle and the modifications I did on this splitter and see how you like them. And uh, we, we already got some nice ash rounds all cut up here behind us. And Elliot brought his, uh, his picaroon here, if I can get it out of the wood. So we'll be playing around with this and we're gonna fill up a tow to firewood. So uh, stick with us. Okay. So you want to say you can pull both of these? Okay. And that's it. We're going to go down and back. Um, this is the log lift and this is the wedge lift. So, yeah, down okay. is up and okay. back, you know, is down. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's like a gear yet. Yeah. 
All right, so we filled up that tote pretty fast there. What did you uh, what did you think of the splitter? I mean, besides the fact that all your valves are different than mine. <laughs> so you guys saw me. I mean, every time I'm grabbing different valves and stuff. But you have to remember on my splitter, I don't have these extra spools here. So I'm constantly grabbing for these spools to move the cylinder. And I mean, now right. I got to reach back here. So you guys saw, it's just, it, I mean, if I ran it and ran it and ran it, I'd get used to it. But just right. jumping from my machine to your machine, it's fantastic. It just would take some getting used to. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're two extra valves in a totally different spot. You're used to these, so naturally right. you're gonna go for those. And I mean, the, the, the addition that I really don't get at my house is the dog between the legs. Yeah, you know, Louie, I don't know if you guys could see, but Louie is currently underneath the log splitter, which if you followed along with the channel, you usually see him traipsing around in the background, but he has taken a liking to you. Apparently. I mean, yeah. it put me in like some awkward <laughs> yoga pose or something I was now, doing. Make sure you don't step on his tail. And Just if there weren't enough hazards, you know, going yeah. on with the new auto cycle machine and everything, yeah. don't step on the dog's tail. Just, uh, it's like having a child. It's like one more moving thing that you need to pay attention yeah, to. Yeah, right. He's, uh, I don't know why, why he's under there, but huh? seems to be happy. He's, he's out of the rain. He's having a good time. Right, bud? <laughs> oh, I know. I think it was the drone that did it. Yeah, he was a little, he was a little uh, off put by the drone there. He, a little hesitant. Yeah. So. Louis. But yeah, great machine. I love, I love the addition of the spools. Um, you know, I don't know if my machine would would handle the extra spools of an extra cycle, uh, an auto cycle, because your motor's obviously bigger and you, you know right. your pumps bigger and stuff. So, I mean, I'm sure it could be done. Uh, I just don't know how well it would run it. Right. Know? Yeah, I, I'm not quite sure. I don't know that it takes more flow or anything necessarily to run it. I think it's more just figuring out how to plumb it and yeah. everything, uh, you know. But yes. it uh, it's it's definitely fun to use and uh, totally different than... Oh, the know. auto cycle, I mean, is, is a game changer. You yeah. don't have to sit here and hold the spool forward and it just goes. It's Yeah, I mean, it's almost like you could do two things at once. Yeah. So. Yeah, certainly, like, you know, I know we had two guys here, and it, and it filled up the tote super fast, but you certainly could set a log on here, let it go, and then run over and throw another log on your log lift while you're doing it. If you're running a one-man operation, so, you know, I could see that working out very well. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, well, cool. So, what do, you, what do we think next? Well, you want to try that blue saw out? Yeah, let's we'll get... try out the Holtz Forma, and uh, we can cut up some more of these, these rounds here to the proper size. Now, disclaimer, I used this saw about a month ago, and... I don't remember if it's sharp or not. I think it's sharp because I try to keep my saw sharp. But if we get into it, know that it's no fault of the saw. It's my fault. Okay. I came unprepared. I mean, that's just that's just what it is. If it's sharp, we can throw it on the vise, put a quick edge on it. Yeah, great. All right, so you want to uh, give me a, a rundown of the saw here? So, yeah, this is a Holst Forma 372 XP. And like I had mentioned, it's basically just a Chinese clone of the Husqvarna 372 XP. They make uh, still clones as well, if, if you're a still guy. Um, a lot of people bash them because they are Chinese, and what a lot of people I don't think realize is that all of this stuff that we're buying is made in China yeah, anyway. Right. I mean, it might be assembled in America, but all these parts are exactly the same. There might be a little bit difference in you know plastic material and stuff like that. Um, but what's nice about these is you can actually go to Husqvarna dealer and, I don't know, say you, say you break your, your choke lever off and you don't want to order one from the factory because it does take about three months for stuff to come in. It comes on the slow boat. Right. Um, you can go to the Husky dealer and just buy a part and throw it in here. So Every, it's all interchangeable. Everything's exactly the same. They have the same dyes that they use for making the Huskies. Mm. This is just blue. Cool. That's essentially it. It operates the same way that any other chainsaw does. It's got an automatic oiler on it and everything, you know, just like any newer chainsaw does. Um, but yeah. The only thing that, that I found with these, uh, they might use a different carburetor than what Husky does because they flood very easily. Gotcha. So when you start it, you put it full choke. It'll, the first time it pops, you turn the choke off and you, mm -hmm. and you pull it and it should fire right up. Cool. So it is cold. Um, so you guys will see, I'm gonna give it to Jake and let him start it yeah, and, see, we'll try and it see what he says about it. Sink it into some ash here. Yeah.
like it. Not like too bad, it. huh? I mean, it no. cuts wood. It cuts great. I mean, the chain, well, so first of all, the chain is sharp. Sure. So your disclaimer, I, yeah, I guess. The disclaimer wasn't necessary. Well, I just wanted but. to throw that in there because I didn't want to be like, oh, Elliot brings this saw and it's all dull and blah. blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worse than a dull Chinese knockoff. Right. Um, that being said, the bar and chain are from Oregon. Right. You can buy a bar and chain from them. I opted not to, uh, so I did buy an Oregon bar and chain. So that is as American as I guess Oregon can be. Right. Now, yeah, I mean, I like it. I like the sound of it. It's got a nice throaty like sound to it. Yep. Um, you definitely feel the weight, but I think that's just because I don't have a saw that size. Yeah. I think my biggest saw right now that I use on a typical basis is the steel 362. Sure. Um, so this is just a bigger saw, but I mean, for what'd you say, a quarter of the price? Yeah, it was about. I think it was about two hundred fifty dollars. Can't beat that. I mean, right. you could buy like four of them. Right. And the only time I use this saw is when I'm cutting down big trees. Um, I have tried bucking with it, but like you just said, you feel the weight of it. Yeah, and so the bar is a little long for, especially is. just doing what we're it doing is. here. Yeah. I mean, it's nice because you don't have to bend over as far it when is. you're bucking, but Absolutely. it's very, very heavy. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the only time I really use it is if I'm cutting down big trees, if I want to do a single pass, so I'm not double cutting trees. Right. Yeah, no, I like the big bucking dogs on it on, on either side. And uh, I mean, if the carb's a little finicky, just adjust it but uh you know you get to know the beast right and this saw i mean besides the bar and chain this saw is exactly how it would come from the factory i haven't put anything into it um besides fuel and, and bar chain uh bar oil but you do see a lot of guys that will buy these and they'll immediately mod them to you know make them more bulletproof if, if that's the word you want to use um but i haven't because i wanted to use the saw as it came I wanted to see what fails on it, what goes wrong first. That way we can educate everybody else that's interested in buying one of these. Right, and I mean, for 250 bucks, what do you got to lose? Right. So, very cool. Yeah, I like it. I definitely like it. Well, all right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap up the video here. Uh, down in the wood yard, it just started to rain. It so did. we beat that. And but I am made of sugar, so I gotta get inside. Yeah, you'll melt. Um, <laughs> But it was fun getting to meet you, first yep. of all, and having you come down here. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm glad you got to try the bigger brother to your splitter. And I got to try your uh, Holtz Forma. Yeah, it's, it's a clone. It's always great to meet new people. And obviously, he has something I don't have, and I have something he doesn't have. So it's great to be able to meet each other and get together and, and do Absolutely. videos like this to, to try other things out. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. And we made a little bit of firewood, which is always good. So uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to both of our channels, Everything Elliot and Dude Ranch DIY. Hit that button down below. Uh, any questions, comments, or feedback, throw it in the comments section. But for now, I'm Jake. I'm Elliot. This is Dude Ranch DIY. And, and Everything Elliot. And Everything Elliot. <laughs> a little two for one. Yeah, two for one action. Enjoy. We'll see you next time.